you know, into this fight, you are the underdog. Five years in the UFC to his barely over two years. Is that at all, like, offensive? Like, how am I addressing it? I've been, like, at this level in this division long enough. How am I the underdog? I mean, it's not so much offensive anymore. Once you realize how the game works, and like you said, I've been here five years. You know, it's not my first time being an underdog in a fight. I shouldn't have been the underdog. There's been times I was the uh, overdog, the, the favorite, when I should have been the underdog. You know, it's just like say styles make fights, and the fans is what who they talk about the most. You know, look at who got the bigger following, and you know everybody talking about Johnny Walker to be the next guy to be John Jones. So with that being the uh, the headline of everything that come out of everybody's mouth, of course they're gonna make him the favorite. I mean, like you said, the last part, the hype is when you first see his fight, if you only see his fight watch on TV, you think, oh, my God, this guy's good. But when you actually take the time and break down and dissect his films and you see, it's like, it's really not, it's not that he's that great. It's what he does makes people so timid and it opens up the opportunity for him to let off what he likes to do. So, and you know, that's part of being in martial arts. You got to go back, dig deep, find all the stuff in the archives and follow up on him and see everything about his style. And I did that with, with, with many days and hours, notes and everything. I figured it out. And he's not the fact that he's that good. It was more of the opponent's fault. They opened up the opportunity to give him that highlight real knockout and those things. So in my aspect, I got to go out there and make sure I do everything correct. Everything I said, everything I practice on the game plan to make sure that doesn't happen. Now, you know, take thought about this fight. You've been at the top, you know, at this division for a while now. Is he jumping into the deep end of 205 by fighting you? Is this probably the real test for him that he hasn't gotten yet? He's really going to get a top five. 100%. He's taking that dive. He's diving in head first real quick. You know, um, and honestly, if you go back, again, if you go back and do your research, you see interviews where he said, going into his last fight, like, I don't want to be pushed forward. You know, I want to I want to build and learn. I want to be able, when I get to the title fight or up in those top fights, I want to be prepared. And then the media pushed on him so hard because he had another knockout finish and the hype was on him, and he let it get to his head. He went from... I want to take my time a slow route in his last fight until like two weeks later everybody gets to his head like oh you're the best to come <laughs> now nah, he's feeling himself too much and again and that happens you can't blame him for that that's just the media they put so much on you you start you, you start believing your own like your shit don't stink and uh you remember you forget what you used to say and then you don't learn anymore you, don't, you stop growing you know you think you're at the top you're already ready to go and that's when you start growing that's the worst place you can be that's why they say, stay true to yourself. It's no more, no more than they all say, stay true to yourself. Don't worry about what people say, stay true to yourself. And uh, if you go out there and he can beat me, well, you know, hats off to him. But in the same, in a nutshell, I feel he forgot to stay true to himself. He took this fight and jumped in expecting something, and he's not ready for what he's going to get. Now, the, the strategy, obviously, people are going to think, okay, or he's going to take him to the deep end of the water, drown him, wrestling. But say, since you said that, if you look at his, his fights, it's not maybe as good as maybe it is. He does certain things he, he just does, and it's almost too wrong. Is it a fight that maybe it isn't necessary about wrestling? You see things on the feet that you can really take advantage of and, and surprise some people? I mean, yeah, if you want to go out there and you want to impress fans, I can go out there and take it to the feet and take it to him 100% with the openings I've seen. But the aspect is I want to be a martial artist. I want to get the win. I want to get my checks. I want to go home to my family. So if the wrestling comes, you better believe I'm going to take the opportunity. I'm not going to go out there and say I'm not going to wrestle. I'm going to sit there and stand up and bang with him because, yes, he does jump and stuff, unpredictable things. And that's when you get caught standing up. It's the one you don't see. He does a lot of stuff you don't see coming. So even though you see it, you just don't see it coming because it's just so fast and so fancy. That's when you get caught. I just got to go out there, implement, implement my game plan, and make him freeze up from doing some of the things he do and uh, take him into my world. Now, uh, this fight, it, 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 what matters who, how either guy wins, they can be in contention. They should be a serious candidate for a title shot. What are your thoughts on John Jones' comments on Dominic Reyes saying, I don't see anything in it for me in that fight? Is that, is that good because it puts you back in, in, in the conversation, or is that kind of more? I mean, at this point, I just feel like I don't know what John is doing. You know, I haven't been following him anymore. Like, I, I see the stuff in the media, 
But since I got a fight, there's nothing else to worry about. I don't focus on anything else. I don't focus on anybody else. I watch the fights, and that's about it. I hear about the comments, but I don't pay attention to them. But at the same time, it's kind of like if this guy just knocked out Chris Weidman and he, he earned it, why wouldn't they give it to him? Like if, if why everybody else is waiting still, everybody else lined up to fight, let him go. But at the same time, yeah, it's cool that he said that because now if I go out there and dominate, maybe maybe after that, John's like, all right, Corey, when I improve, line it up, you know? But at the same time, I'm not dependent on it. If Dominic Reyes did what he had to deserve it, give it to him. But. It is what it is. What do you think of certain guys like Weidman and mentioned Weidman, Rocco coming to the division don't do well. Santo Smith coming to the division don't do well. What's the difference? Why are some guys doing better than when they come up to a fire and some guys not? As a long time to a fire, top to a fire, what do you think? I mean, that's just the mentality you bring to the game. Yeah. You know? And I've trained with Chris before, and Chris is tough. And I think. Chris and I mean, he didn't say he did anything wrong. He went out there, he took the guy down at the beginning, and he did what he was supposed to do. And then when he got up, I think instead of just going back to the wrestling, try to strike a little bit, and he got caught. And when I wanted the potential to fight Dominic Reyes, the number one thing I knew when we thought that fight was going to happen was like, we just got to remember this guy is good at striking going backwards. Can't get in his face, can't be trying to chase hungry for anything because he can catch it. And uh, I don't know if maybe Chris and them didn't study that and didn't notice that, but they made that mistake. And uh, for Luke, it was just, I don't know, uh, I don't really have much thought on Luke. I don't think Luke trains seriously like the rest of us. You know, you know, you see him with the polo and everywhere else, <laughs> all over at the fights, but I don't see him much in the gym. You know, I see a lot of posts at Hard Knocks 365, and you don't see him in the background. So I feel like with him, he just came up thinking his name was going to be enough. And I knew going against a guy like Jan, who I had fought with a tough SOB, I knew he had another thing coming.